Hello everybody, I'm super excited today to show you how you can generate animations with AI. With the power of AI, you can create different motion animations in under 10 seconds. You can use those animations in your cutscenes, in your movies, and soon they will be available for your game characters. So let's deep dive in and show you how you can create custom motion animations with AI. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. This is the official website of Motorica, and here you can try the Motorica Studio or Unreal Engine plugin. I would suggest you to download the Unreal Engine plugin, but before that you need to click and register. Once you downloaded the Motorica plugin and you created a clean project, you need to go to your content, right click and choose show in Explorer. Then you need to create a plugin folder, so right click, new, folder and call it plugins. After you created this folder, double click on it, go to your Motorica Studio downloaded folder and it should look like this, Motorica Studio, then it should have this Unreal Engine plugin. Copy the folder itself, paste it into your plugins folder and after that you need to restart your Unreal Engine 5. After the reset of your Unreal Engine 5, go to edit, go to plugins and here in the installed plugins you should see animation and you should see Motorica Studio in beta. It should be turned on. The next step is to log in into your Motorica. So go to edit settings, project settings, scroll all the way down to the plugins and click Motorica Studio. For the first one, the app location, you need to refer to the documentation. And here there is an URL for the app location. I'll include this in the description of this video. So copy this, paste it into your app location, and then just fill your email and password with which you register on the Motorica AI website. After you've done all of that, you can see here the Motorica icon. So let's open the Motorica plugin editor. After you open the editor, go to networking and click login to login your credentials. After you log in your credential, you're gonna see the login successful and the fun part will start here. And let me walk you through the editor. Here you have style browser, which will give you different style of animation, big steps, bend knees, balance. You have a lot of styles. You have uh, afraid expression, you have confused, a tired walk, a cool guy, a cowboy, etc. We're gonna go back to this later. You can mix between different styles. You have the default timeline, you have the curve editor, you have style mixer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to vote the current open level in my level editor. You can use this level prototyping, but I'm just going to vote my level. And here you can work with your level. The second thing is to add an actor and adding an actor, we'll add the actor at default 000. And then I'm just going to move it with this gizmo and I'm going to place it inside my scene. The second thing is we have two different modes. The first one is keyframe mode, where you will keyframe everything by hand. And the second one is preset mode, where you can use different presets. And then with the presets, you can add different animations here. So I'm going to hit plus and I'm going to choose penguin run. And now he will run like a penguin. Okay, but this is not the most exciting part. The exciting part is the keyframe animation mode. So let's go back to the keyframe mode. I'm going to move my character over here and let's start creating some keyframes. I'm going to set my first keyframe to be here. Then I'm going to go to the three seconds. I'm going to set up a different keyframe. I'm going to set a new one here. I'm going to set a new one over here. And I'm going to set the last one here at 997, like that. So right now it is moving like that but the AI also work with rotation. So let's do that. Let's go here to this keyframe. Let's start rotating it because we are running here and we're gonna start running uh, to the right side. We're running to the right side. We're gonna start running to the left side. Then we're gonna run to the straight 
and we're gonna rotate back here. After you keyframe your character, you just need to pick up a style of animation. So I'm gonna go here in the personalities and I want here to be a thug guy. And then I'm gonna click generate animation. Let me show you what this looks like. You start here, you start running, and when you start rotating, you can see how the AI is generating rotation animation. Let me show you this other position. Moving over here, rotating over here, then moving straight forward. And we're gonna have this final rotation. See how the rotation of the legs are pretty good, how you're rotating the body, how you're shifting the weight, and then you go into that position. Pretty good results, so if you are creating some kind of cutscene or a movie and you need a movement of your character, this is the way that you can do it. And after you create this animation, this is animation in the Motorica Studio, and what you need to do is you need to click Save Animation, put a name for your animation, so this will be Nice Walk Motorica Anim. I'm gonna save this. Let's close the studio, go to my Motorica, Motorica animation, place it in my scene. I'm gonna move it right that. And you're gonna see your character moving over here. Pretty nice, very fluid movement of your character and everything is generated by AI. But this animation is not available for the mannequin of Unreal Engine 5. And what you need to do is you need to retarget this animation to your character. And right now I'm gonna show you how you can retarget it to any character. I'm going to retarget it to the mannequin of Unreal Engine 5, but you can retarget it to any character that you want. So I'm gonna go to my character folder, mannequins, rigs, and on the IK mannequin, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna create IK retargeter. So this will be the retarget for, from the Manny to Motorica, and I'm just gonna double click on it. Here I'm gonna change a few things. I'm gonna change the target to the mannequin that we want. So I'm gonna search here for IK mannequin, this one. So I'm just switching the positions. And as I'm using the female character, I'm gonna choose queen. And for my source target, I'm gonna choose my IK Mo Studio. So let's find IK Mo Studio, this one. And the character will be Mo Studio character. The next step is to edit the pose. So I'm gonna go here and click edit retargeted pose. Then I need to enable the bones. So I'm going to character, bones, and O hierarchy. Right now what we need to do is we need to fix the pose of our source. So I'm gonna select this shoulder and I'm gonna start rotating it until it matches our mannequin of Unreal Engine. Just like that. Let's fix the other arm. The one problem is the fingers at they are too picky to retarget. So I'm just gonna pose them a little bit like that. And I'm gonna fix the wrist here also. I'm not going to bother about the fingers. If you want, just go there and just start rotating the fingers to match the pose of this character. Let me just fix this one. So right now I have the pose looking pretty good and you need to fix the wrist and the fingers over here, but it will take a lot of time to fix. So just take your time and fix them to pose them correctly to the mannequin. Then click show retargeted pose, go to my character, disable the bones, click on the target right now, click here in the empty and target mesh offset, set up something like 150. So we can see it on the side of our Motorica character. Then let's test this out, go to asset browser and choose the animation that we've created, nice walk Motorica. And let's see how this looks. So pretty good guys, as you can see, everything is retargeted pretty good. Moving pretty nice, pretty smooth. Let me just pause this to show you how the hands are not correctly retargeted right now. Here the fingers are broken, but you can fix that by just matching the fingers of the Motorica character. Keep in mind that the AI is still not animating the fingers. This is uh, to be done in the future, but overall, you have a perfect balance and nice movement, which is very smooth and you can create any kind and any type of movement. So the retargeting is working pretty good. And finally, what you need to do here is you need to export the selected animation. So I'm gonna export it again to Motorica. I'm gonna create a new folder, Motorica Unreal Engine Anims, and I'm gonna hit export. And right now we have the exported animation working with our mannequin. So I'm gonna drag and drop our mannequin here gonna place it over here and let's test this out. As you can see, our mannequin is now retargeted 
with the Motorica character. So you are pretty much able to retarget anything over here and use the power of this AI tool. This tool is very powerful for your cutscenes, for some cinematics, and in the future it can work. And in the future, this tool will also might support in-game characters. So thank you guys for watching this one. I hope this AI generated animation will help you out in your process of creating movies or cutscenes. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge, you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy game development. I'm out.